Let's do another example, practicing balancing redox reactions. In this case, I'm just given a net ionic equation, and I'm told to balance it in basic solution. So I have permanganate ion, some salt of, soluble salt of uh, permanganate, plus sulfide ion, some soluble salt, the counter ions um, aren't important here, gives sulfur solid and manganese oxide solid. So we're going to balance this in basic solution. Um, so in order to do this, we are going to follow some basic rules. All right, so let's rewrite our equation, uh, the net ionic equation right here, permanganate plus, and I'm leaving off the um, state symbols for clarity, but these two are in solution. I'm forming solid sulfur and the manganese oxide solid. All right, so first I need to identify what's undergoing oxidation and what's undergoing reduction. I do that by looking at the oxidation states. So I can see that the sulfur is going from a minus 2 to a 0 oxidation state. So that's a loss of electrons. So that's my oxidation. And then the manganese is going um, in this oxide to from a plus 7 to a plus 4. So that's my reduction. So I've identified my oxidation and reduction half reactions and I'm going to write them down and begin balancing those half reactions following the steps to the left, permanganate to manganese oxide. First, the oxidation half reaction. The sulfide anion going to sulfur, <coughs> the elements are balanced as written. There's no oxygen or hydrogen to worry about. I just need to balance the charge by adding two electrons. That half reaction is balanced. The permanganate um, the uh, manganese is balanced. There's one on this side and one on that side. According to these rules, I should use water to balance the oxygen. So I'm going to have to add two water to this side to balance those oxygen. All right. When I did that, I introduced some hydrogen. So I'm going to have to add four hydrogen ions to this side. All right. And then the next thing I do is use electrons to balance the charge. So it's an overall net um, three plus charge on that side, zero on that side. So I'm going to add three electrons to this side. All right. It looks like my half reactions are balanced. The next thing is uh, um, to uh, equalize the electron transfer. So I've got two electrons here and three here. So that's going to have to be uh, three times this half reaction and two times that half reaction. Now I'm going to rewrite these two half reactions. Again, uh, three sulfide goes to three sulfur plus six electrons. That's the oxidation. I'm going to rewrite um, the reduction here. That's uh, six electrons plus eight hydrogen ions plus two permanganate ions goes to two manganese oxide. Whoops. Two manganese oxide plus four water. Now I have a bit of a problem here because um, even though my elements are balanced, um, my, uh, let's see, I need to add these two together. It looks like my elements are all balanced. My ions, my electrons are balanced. Let me go ahead and add them together. So it's eight hydrogen plus three sulfide plus two manganese oxide, excuse me, permanganate, not manganese oxide, that's permanganate there, gives two manganese oxide plus three sulfur plus four water. Okay, what's my problem? My problem is that this is in basic solution. I was told that this was in basic solution and I have a proton. So if that's the case, I have to add hydroxide to both sides to cancel out those um, protons. So to get rid of eight protons, I need to add eight hydroxide. And so then I'll have to add um, eight hydroxide to this side as well. I have to do the same thing to both sides. So eight hydroxide. When I add eight hydroxide to eight protons, I make eight water. Okay, plus the sulfide, plus the permanganate. Or two minus gives the manganese oxide plus the sulfur plus the water plus the hydroxide. Okay, and now you see I have four water on this side and eight, so those like species will cancel, and I'll be left with four water. So the overall net balanced equation in basic solution here is four water 
plus 3 sulfide plus 2 permanganate gives 2 manganese oxide plus 3 sulfur plus 8 hydroxide. All right, that's the balanced reaction. So this would have been very difficult to next to impossible to balance by inspection, so you must follow the rules.